I've been reading my Bible. Have you been reading yours? Yeah. Who is that missionary man that we were talking about? Paul. It used to be Saul, right? What did Paul do? Show me with your hands. Paul walked and talked. Sometimes he sailed in a boat and talked. What was he talking about? Paul was talking about Jesus. He was telling people the gospel. We know what the gospel is, the good news about Jesus. But let's just think about it a little. Let's just look. Okay. There's a crown here. Crown stands for like a king, somebody who rules. But you know what? God rules. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit planned everything. God created everything. God controls everything. God rules. Oh, we sinned. People, ever since the very first people, Adam and Eve, every person has sinned. But God provides. What does God provide? He provides, provides rescue from our problem with sin. Jesus gives. What does Jesus give? Jesus gives himself. Jesus came to earth to live the perfect life for us. The perfect life that we weren't able to live. Jesus died on the cross for us to take the punishment for our sins. Jesus rose again, came back to life for us so that we might have life, eternal life with him. What do we do about that? We respond. What does that mean, we respond? It means we believe. And when we believe, the Bible says that we are saved. And then, what happens? Well, we've been reading about that. I'll read to you Acts chapter 1, verse 8. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you will be my witnesses. That's what happens. Jesus asked God the Father for us, and God the Father sent for us the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit provided everything that we need on earth to accomplish our job. What is that job? That job is to be a witness for Jesus, to walk and to talk, to be like missionaries. Where do we walk and talk? We walk where we live or where God sends us. Who do we talk to? anyone we meet. That's what Paul was doing. Paul used to be called Saul, remember? But he sinned. He did not believe God when God sent Jesus to earth to be the Messiah. At first, Paul was trying to stop people from believing Jesus. Jesus said that it was that Paul was fighting against Jesus resisting against God. But Paul met Jesus and found out that Jesus is God. Paul believed and was saved. Then Jesus met with Paul to teach him all about how to go and be his witness to tell people about Jesus and how to be saved. Paul listened carefully and he went out 
obeying God. Paul had the Holy Spirit living inside of him. So he had the power to be a witness for Jesus. And that's what he did the rest of his life. Be a witness, be a missionary. Paul walked and talked, and sometimes he rode on a boat and then he talked. Last week, we were talking about Paul in Athens. The people of Athens were superstitious and worshiped all different kinds of false gods and how Paul had talked to the people and explained to them that there is only one God. Paul told the people about God so they could repent from their superstitious thinking. Tap your head like this and say, stop thinking like that. Tap your head like this and say, start thinking correctly. Stop the superstitions and believe God. That's what he was doing, helping them to change their minds, the things that they believed. So now, here's what happened next. With Paul, the missionary, he traveled from Athens to a city called Corinth. There in Corinth, Paul met a man named Aquila and Aquila's wife named Priscilla. Do you notice that those names rhyme? Let's say them. Say them with me. Aquila, Priscilla. Aquila, Priscilla. Aquila, Priscilla. Nice. They rhyme. Hmm. Aquila and Priscilla were tent makers. Now I want you to get your hand up here ready and you're going to be smacking your head, but don't do it yet. I'll tell you when. Aquila and Priscilla were tent makers. Paul was a tent maker. It's time to smack your head and say, well, that's a coincidence. Well, that's a coincidence. <laughs> Paul was a tent maker. Paul was a missionary. Hmm. It's time for you to furrow your brow, like wrinkle up your forehead there. And when you do it like that, it makes little lines in your forehead, and those are called furrows, and their brow means your forehead. So do that, and then you're thinking, and you can say, Paul was a tent maker? I thought Paul was a missionary. Okay, you can unfurl your brow. He was. He was a missionary. But while he was being a missionary, he worked by making tents so that he would have money so he could buy food to eat. Maybe he needed some new shoes sometimes. So that's what he did. As a missionary, he made tents. Aquila and Priscilla invited Paul to stay with them. And he did. He stayed with them. So they spent time sitting together, making tents like stitching, cutting, and talking about Jesus. Oh, I bet that Aquila and Priscilla, because the Bible says that they knew Jesus and they believed Jesus, they loved him. I bet they loved hearing the things that Paul told them, that Jesus had explained to him. Now they were Jewish people. On the Sabbath day, the one Sabbath day of the week, the day that we call Saturday, the Jews did not work at all. Instead, they went to the synagogue you remember why? What they were doing there? Mm -hmm. They were reading together the Old Testament scriptures. So, do you remember also where Paul liked to go? To the synagogue. Why did he go? So he could talk to the people at the synagogue, the Jews and the Gentiles who were there, to tell them about Jesus, the gospel message. Now, Paul was trying to persuade people to believe the gospel. Some people did believe the gospel. Some people did not. But the church at Corinth, where Aquila and Priscilla and Paul were, started to have more and more believers, so their church got to be bigger and bigger. Now, Paul and his friends, Aquila and Priscilla, after they'd been there for a while, traveled from the city of Corinth 
to another town named Ephesus. Why don't you say that? Ephesus. Mm -hmm. And remember their names? Yeah. Aquila and Priscilla and Paul. So Aquila and Priscilla decided to stay in Ephesus. And Paul said, okay, that's a good idea. You stay there. I'm going to travel. Remember, I used to go in lots of towns in Asia. I traveled all around and I told the people about Jesus and they started churches there. I would like to go back and visit all of those people in Asia. See how they're doing. Encourage them. So, Aquila and Priscilla said goodbye to Paul and Paul said goodbye to Aquila and Priscilla. Paul said, goodbye Aquila, goodbye Priscilla. And Priscilla and Aquila said, goodbye Paul. While Paul was traveling and Aquila and Priscilla were in Ephesus, a Jewish man named Apollos came to Ephesus. Apollos knew some things about Jesus and he liked to talk to people and he was very good at talking. Do you want to learn a new word? I think it's new for you. I bet it is. Uh, that means being good at talking. Eloquent. You gotta say it like this. Eloquent. That's what the Bible says that Apollos was. It means he was real good at talking. And it means that it was fun to listen to him. People liked to listen to him. So people were listening to, to Apollos speak because he was very, what was he? What do you say? Eloquent. Yes. What, what Apollos knew was about what John the Baptist had been teaching, to repent and be baptized, to be prepared, ready for the Messiah to come. Apollos only knew that part. He didn't know about Jesus dying on the cross. He didn't know about Jesus rising again from the dead. He didn't know about the Holy Spirit being sent to live inside of the people who believed. So when Aquila and Priscilla heard Apollos telling people very eloquently about Jesus, but not the whole gospel, they decided to invite him to come to their tent. Probably to have a little lunch. They probably said, welcome to our tent. Sit down, have a sandwich. We have some good news to tell you. And they did. They explained the gospel to him. Maybe Apollos furrowed his brow while he was listening to that. Maybe Apollos slapped his head. <laughs> when he heard that. Go ahead and stop your head. Maybe Apollos said, that's really good news. I gotta go tell some more people. Goodbye Aquila. Goodbye Priscilla. Thanks for telling me the gospel. I want thanks for lunch. And you have a real nice tent here. Maybe that's what he said. Well in the meanwhile, while that was happening, Paul met some of the men who had learned about Jesus from Apollos before, before he knew the whole gospel. So they did not know the whole gospel message. So Paul told them, listen to this good news, the gospel. And Paul told them that Jesus died and rose again for them and that they could have the Holy Spirit live inside of them. They said, yes, Slap your forehead. I bet that's what they did. They said, yes. This is great news. We believe it. So when they said that, and they believed, the Holy Spirit came and lived inside of them. So that was good. Paul kept on traveling a bit, and he was headed back towards Ephesus, where Aquila and Priscilla were. But he decided to stop a little bit before he got there, kind of a little stopping place. And instead of going there, he sent a messenger with a message that said to Aquila and Priscilla, to the church leaders in Ephesus, please meet me here so we can talk. Well, they did. They came to talk, meet with Paul. Paul said to them, 
I am obeying the Holy Spirit, and so I'm going to travel now to Jerusalem. I don't know what I will discover there, but I do know that it will include hard trouble and jail. And I don't mind. I don't care that much for my life. The most important thing for me is that I finish the work that Jesus gave me to do. So I must tell the people there about Jesus. The church leaders understood what Paul was saying. They knew he would obey the Holy Spirit, even though that would cause him hurt or even to be put in jail. Paul and the church leaders prayed together. The church leaders were sad. They cried because they knew they would probably not see Paul ever again. Then they all woke to, walked to the boat together. Paul got on the boat and the Jewish leaders all said, Goodbye, Paul. And Paul said, Goodbye. Remember who wrote about all these Paul adventures? Luke. Who was it that told Luke what to write? The Holy Spirit. Remember what Jesus told the disciples before he sent it up into heaven? He said, you'll receive power. Then walk and talk. Go and tell. Luke wrote about Paul and his friends, so that we would know how they did that. What do you think we can do now? Well, we can go places, the places that we go, and tell people that we see about Jesus. Do you know that there are missionaries now who travel walking, sometimes on boats, sometimes driving cars? sometimes flying in planes. Maybe, maybe some of you will do that. Go places and tell people, be missionaries. Remember, Paul told us that is the most important thing, telling people about Jesus. Maybe God, the Holy Spirit, will tell some of you in your heart to go and tell. Maybe you will have missionary adventures. We'll see.